A major crack in a murder case. A teen has turned himself in in the murder of his girlfriend's father. Now, the shooting happened Monday night, and NBC6's Lena Salzbank breaks down what we know about the 18-year-old's arrest. This came after an exhaustive search by both detectives and the victim's family, who said that he ran off after that shooting and took his girlfriend with him. On Wednesday, that search came to an end when 18-year-old Lawan Jones Jr. turned himself in and was charged with first-degree murder with a firearm. According to the Broward Sheriff's Office, Jones shot and killed 44-year-old Keith Poole outside of his home on Northeast 28th Street after witnesses say the two were arguing over social media posts. Family and friends tell NBC6 yesterday that Keith was a father of three. He's really invested into his children. And had taken in his oldest daughter's boyfriend, Lawan Jones, giving him a place to call home for over a year. He lived with Keith and he lived with um, Jesse. He lost his parents some years back. He treated him like family. Barbara Santiago says Jones shot Keith in front of his kids before taking off with his girlfriend. We don't know the exact circumstances of how she left. We don't know if he was like, let's go. And just out of fear, she took off. I couldn't imagine what Jesse was feeling at the time. Um, fear. Many of Keith's friends now taking to social media, remembering the 44-year-old for his kind heart. According to BSO, Keith's oldest daughter was located and is now back home and safe with her family. Lawan Jones Jr. is being held without bond. We reached out to the victim's family for a comment. We're still waiting to hear back. For now, reporting in Fort Lauderdale, Lena Salzbank, NBC6 News. Listen, I, I guess some people really don't think about the consequences of, of you know, when it comes to the, the decisions that they make. Uh, every decision we make can affect others positively or negatively. And it's important to think about how our actions might have an impact on the lives of those around us. You know, people really need to start taking some time and thinking about the long-term consequences of their actions and decisions. Um, you know, it, it's, I don't know this, what this dude did. I mean, it, it was just uncalled for. Um, and, and for him to do something like this to somebody who was gracious enough to allow him to uh, stay at their home. It, I mean, it's insane to me. And, and, and this is how he paid back Keith Poole's act of kindness. Um, Cause I, I mean, I, I don't know anybody who would be that kind to take somebody in and look after them and allow that person, you know, to, to stay in their home. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it takes a very generous person to do something like that when most people wouldn't, but two Kings can never reign in, in one kingdom. And when they try to, it's almost guaranteed that there will be some kind of dispute. Now this guy, he's 18 years old. He should have been out there trying to make his own way and, uh, do more with the opportunity that he was given. Um, because there's not too many people who are for, uh, fortunate enough to, be in that position and it may not, it may have not been much, but at least he had a chance. At least he had an opportunity and he blew it. And, uh, unfortunately it cost Mr. Poole his life. Um, you know, whatever you feel about the situation and whether you say, Hey, he shouldn't have allowed that, that, that young man to stay in his home. I mean, you, you gotta remember that this young man, he was the one who made the decision to pull that trigger and, and end Mr. Poole's life, you know? So, so don't forget that part. Right. Um, but it's, it's just, it's sad to see people, uh, who try to do some good, they get caught up and it, it's, it's sad, uh, that it, you know, it had to turn out that way for him, but understand that you can't help everybody and you can't save everybody because if you try sometimes you will get burned in the end so y'all take care stay safe make better choices and just keep yourselves out of trouble peace